G'day people, hope you're having a great day today. Well, I've been looking at the uh, DOM 379, thinking about um, purchasing it, and I went on his website, and he's got the free version, so it's like a demo, so you can have a look at it. And this is it, this is the free one. And uh, I decided that I'd give that a try first before I purchase it, just to see what I think. I've taken it for a couple of uh, jobs, and I have to say I'm really impressed by it. Um, as you can see, it's a nice looking truck from the outside, and apparently the uh, paid version is just that much more better. Let's uh, have a quick look inside before we take off. Okay. So the uh, interior is very nicely decked out. There's not a great deal of um, uh, modding or um, customization that you can do to it in the free mod. But uh, again, like I say, it's just so you can have a look at it, I suppose, and see what you think before you purchase the paid one. Well, that's my take on it anyway. So anyway, let's uh, get started and take it for a spin. We've got uh, about 40 tonnes of truck that we're carting. We'll have a look at that too while we're here. Volvo. And the low boy. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Traffic. Thanks, mate. What have you all been doing today? I uh, went out today and bought myself a couch, a lounge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's 
second-hand one. So I can't afford a new one. The uh, old couch that we had is actually a really nice couch. Um, we got it second-hand as well. But it's a little bit uncomfortable. There's no, actually nothing wrong with the cushions or anything like that. It's just the seating positions in it. Um, it's sort of, uh, yeah... I'm only, uh, I'm not really tall, medium height, and um, when I sit in the old lounge at uh, the old couch, it, uh, my feet are off the floor, because you've got to sit so far back on it to actually get your back to rest. With this new couch, it's um, a lot more comfortable. So yeah, what what are you guys been up to? Let me know in the comments below. Nice to see what our different people are doing around the world on a beautiful day like today. I've also been uh, playing a bit of Dirt Rally 2.0. Haven't played it for years, so I thought I'd decide to get back on it and give it a try. It's hard to get used to again. That, along with uh, Construction Worker. Oh, sorry, Construction Simulator. A couple of uh, games I've been getting into lately, apart from Truck Simulator. Yeah, I prefer games that are, you know, simulators over these um, fantasy games that a lot of people play. Just that I'm not really into them. I mean, there's nothing against them. It's just that it's not uh, the, jo the genre or whatever you want to call it that I get into. I prefer my simulators. That's why I like Dirt Rally 2.0. It's more of a simulator than an arcade type uh, racer game. Same with uh, Construction Simulator that says it all in the title. It's a simulator. Where are we going? Let's have a look. I've got to tell you guys where we're going. So we're going from Selena in Utah through to Moab. And, uh, yeah, what are we carting? So we're carting the Hall of Volvo, articulated Hall of Volvo, Volvo uh, A25G. And... Uh, yeah, well, it's 55,000 pounds, so it's not light. The guy in front's uh, pulling a compactor by the looks of it, a Volvo compactor. Yeah, I like the, uh, the geography through Utah, all these peaks, mountain peaks and monoliths or whatever they're called. There is a special name for them and it uh, just gone out of my brain. But it's unique to the um, this area, this type of uh, scenery. Oops, speeding. This uh, 
uh, incline's a bit steeper than I thought. But yeah, like I say, it's a very nice looking truck. I like the way it's put together. So I think I might end up grabbing the paid mod and seeing what that's like. And I'll do a review on that when I get it and let you guys know what it's like. And if it's worth the money. I'd say if this is anything to go by, that it will be. Yeah, Dom's um, very graciously giving this one away for free. It's his original 379. I hope I'm getting that right. And uh, as a thank you to all his, all the people, that, all his patrons that have been uh, with him for so long, he, uh, he's given it away. And um, then you have the, the, like I say, you have the paid one, which is a lot more features, a lot more uh, customization. Like I say, this is a good way just to see what, um, what type of quality and what type of workmanship he puts into his mods. And it's not costing you anything to see that. We'll have a better look at it once we've uh, done the drop-off. Get up and close and personal with it so you can have a a squiz, see what it's like. Loading a few gears just to uh, see how we go. Seems to be handling it all right. Yeah, I um, colour matched the trailer with the truck best I could. I think it came up pretty good. Keep right. Over the cattle grid. Oh, we've got a train up here.
Bit of dirt road here. Give you a good look at the track. Mess of bounces around on the dirt road. Reasonably easy. Should be right with this one. As long as the trailer comes around when we want it to. Alright. Yeah, relatively easy, I think. Come on, trailer. Straighten up. Mm, doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. It did. Not perfectly straight, but that'll do. Okay, let's have a bit of a closer look. So you can see exactly what it's like. Put together well. Very nice. Yes, yeah, very nice indeed. Step inside again, have a look around. The details just fantastic. Gauges, the carpet, floor mats, television in the back. Very nice. Okay. Let's see how we did on the job. Excellent. Okay, yes, so we did 179 miles, 5 hours, 58 gallons of juice, $13,310 earned. Not bad at all. So, yeah, if you're, uh, you're thinking of looking at one of Dom's trucks, or Dom's truck, it's um, quite a nice unit. Like I say, I think I'll um, purchase the pay mod. Do a review on that and let you see what it's like. Got any questions or any suggestions? Leave it down in the comments. Down there. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, see you in the next one.